Well, the governor elect's inauguration next week will mark the beginning of changed Annapolis, of course, after the major turnout for Republicans in the November election. Today, Republican members of the House and Senate gathered in Annapolis for their pre session luncheon. 11 News I team reporter Deborah Weiner was there. Normally, a lunch wouldn't warrant a story, but when that lunch is a sign of a changing political menu, it is worth noting. With the Democratic governor moving out of Annapolis, it is clearly a new day for Maryland Republicans. <laughs> Their annual luncheon before the start of the session was bigger than ever, a record crowd, not the postscript of the past. There's never been that many of us, and we actually couldn't all fit around the tables. We had to move back into the room. So, uh, Speaker, we made it a bigger room. I'm just letting you know that now. Some of this year's new faces used to be blue faces. Grew up in a Democrat club where my grandfather was the president. My entire family were members. They were all Democrats. Uh, coming from a very blue collar family, very working class. And, uh, you know, they were all sick and tired. Is it a challenge? Yes. But at the same time, we're up for the challenge. These are not Republican problems or Democrat problems. They are convinced that Larry Hogan, who has never held public office before, has the business acumen and savvy to advance their agenda. Build compromise, build relationships is what he's, I think he's going to do and what he needs to do. The fact that he's not a career politician I think is very helpful because we're, we're, we're all freshmen and uh, working together for the people. While they remain the minority party in the legislature, members feel that their ideas won and that their ideas have traction. We've been bullied a bit in the past, but there's more of us now, so, so I think maybe we're going to see a two-party system in, in, in Maryland for the first time ever, really. Today wasn't about lunch. It was about feeling relevant and emboldened. And for Maryland's Republicans, that feels awfully good. In Annapolis, Deborah Weiner, WBAL-TV 11 News.